Welcome to Axiom Overview and Navigation Training. Today we will discuss what Axiom is, the two types of Axiom clients available for use, navigation in Axiom, and the data available. So what is Axiom? Axiom reporting is used by the University of Alabama as a supplement to Banner, our system of record. Axiom increases access to data with improved functionality. It also utilizes data visualization tools to highlight trends, variances, and outliers. Axiom will assist users with data-informed decision-making by providing useful, relevant, and up-to-date information. There are two types of Axiom clients. First, the Axiom Web Client. This can be used by all Axiom users. The web version can be accessed from any web browser. Dashboards, forms, and reports are available for, from the web client. There are a couple of disadvantages to the web client. First, there is no spreadsheet functionality. And second, there is limited drill down capability. The second type of Axiom client is the Axiom Excel client. This client will be used predominantly by Axiom Power users, for example, college business officers. The Excel client requires an Excel add-in that must be installed on your computer. To install the add-in requires administrator rights to your computer, so please contact your IT support if you need assistance with this. If you plan to access the Excel client, you must begin your Axiom session in the web client using either the Microsoft Edge browser or Internet Explorer. Then you will be able to launch the Excel client. The Excel client also features dashboards, forms, and reports. A couple of advantages to the Excel client are full spreadsheet functionality and drill down capability to the transaction level. Let's log in to Axiom. I'm going to use the Microsoft Edge browser so that I will later be able to access the Excel client. Let's enter our Axiom web address uasystem.axiom.cloud. This website is UA's Axiom production system. The Axiom system uses Duo for authentication into the system. Enter your MyBama credentials here. This opens to your Axiom web client homepage. This may differ between users. For most users, this will be the operational dashboard. We will discuss dashboards later. For now, let's take a look at navigating the Axiom Web Client. At the top right corner of the Web Client view, you will notice the global navigation bar. The first icon is a waffle. This is called the area menu. It shows the modules you have access to in Axiom. The next icon looks like a rocket. This is the quick launch menu. This is where you launch the Excel client, but you must be in Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer for Excel to launch. The third icon is a bell for alerts and notifications. The final icon should be your initials in a circle. This is for user information. Underneath the global navigation bar is a light gray band. This is the task bar. Starting at the left of the screen, the hamburger icon or three lines icon is the navigation panel. The navigation panel shows the dashboards and reports available for viewing. You may also notice recent places containing dashboards, forms, or reports that have been recently accessed. 
There is also a home page button where you can choose to return to your home page in Axiom. The next icon in the taskbar is a funnel or filter. This is the filter panel. The filter panel shows the refresh variables or parameters available for the dashboard or report. Use the drop down arrow to modify the values and choose apply to update the dashboard or report. Common types of refresh variables will be fiscal year, period, organization, and fund or fund type. You may use the X's beside the refresh variable to clear any defaulted values. A red vertical line will appear to the left of the box if a value is required. The next icon on the taskbar is a wrench for tools. This option is not used very often. Across the taskbar to the right are two additional icons. The star icon is for favorites. While in a report or dashboard, you can click on the star. The star darkens and it will be added to your favorites listed in the navigation panel. To remove the report or dashboard from your favorites, you have two options. First, if you are still accessing that particular report, you may click the darken star. Or you can use the delete or trash can icon from the navigation panel beside the favorite report. The question mark on the far right of the taskbar is for Axiom Help. Now let's move to a discussion of the data that's contained in Axiom. The data in Axiom begins with fiscal year 2016. There is currently no inception to date reporting in Axiom for grants or projects that span multiple years. Data is only for a fiscal year basis at this time. Another important item to note, data is imported nightly from Banner into Axiom. Any activity in Banner for the current day will not be included in your reports or dashboards since the last nightly import is what is included in the Axiom data. Let's take a look at this chart that shows the fiscal years currently available in Axiom by year end date. It shows UA, Capstone Foundation, 1831 Foundation. These are all September 30th year ends. And it shows the October 1st to September 30th year that's available for each fiscal year. It also shows the same fiscal year, but with the June 30 year ends for Crimson Tide Foundation, Alumni Association, and Law School Foundation. Another chart shows the fiscal periods available for the two year ends as of September 30th and June 30th. Note that any data reported in the accrual period, that's period 14, is combined with period 12. Let's review the charts of accounts that are available for reporting in Axiom. Chart A, the University of Alabama. Chart C, Capstone Foundation. Chart E, 1831 Foundation. Chart L, the Law School Foundation. Chart N, National Alumni Association. And Chart T, Crimson Tide Foundation. It is important to note that all Axiom data elements must be unique. Therefore, the chart is appended to the front of each FOP element. For example, Fund 11,000 for Chart A is A11,000. Organization Code 204101 for Chart C is C204101. When searching or filtering data, it helps to use the chart as a prefix. Let's review a list of division 
and area or grow ups for chart A. These can be used in reporting to summarize a group of orgs or departments. Similarly, the four digit roll up is used in the Academic Affairs Division to show the activity for an entire college. This summarizes all the departments that make up a college. The next few slides show various fund types that are grouped for Chart A. These categories may be used in some Axiom reports. Unrestricted fund types are those that can be used for any purpose subject to UA spending policy. Restricted fund types are those that are restricted to a certain purpose by a granting agency, federal, state, local, private, or by donors. Plant fund types include permanent renewal and replacement funds, retirement of indebtedness funds, construction, R&R, work order, project funds, and other funds associated with property, plant, and equipment. Other fund types are fund types that are typically not reported on internally. Most of these fund types are permanently restricted and cannot be spent. We've discussed what Axiom is, the two types of Axiom clients available, Web and Excel, navigation in Axiom, and the data available. Here are some important reminders for you in navigating Axiom. The Excel client requires Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer browsers. The Excel client requires an add-in installation on your computer. The data for Axiom is updated nightly from Banner. Currently, only fiscal year reporting is available. And finally, use the chart as a prefix when searching and filtering. This will be helpful to you. Please contact our office in Finance Technology and Data Integrity if you have any questions about Axiom. You can contact Meredith Boatler or Kara Green. There will be additional web trainings available for dashboards and reports. Thank you.